Gemini Keys in the pen, LatinoSports.com, Yankee Stadium, New York, New York, Mets Yankees Subway Series. You're watching LatinoSports.com. It's about us. It's about time. LatinoSports.com, getting ready for that Subway Series Mets Yankees, and I'm here with no other than All Star Shortstop Jose Reyes. Jose, come on, Bien, bien. How are you, Bobby? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Jose, I know you gotta go into BP, so I just gotta ask you one question. And I'm talking to the fans, bro. Yankee fans, Mets fans, all alike, they don't want to see you go. This is the last year of your contract. We understand it's a business, but for the fans, Latino Sports, Jose, do you want to be a Met? You know, everybody know that I always say, you know, I want to be married to hold my career, so, but, you know, at the same time, I understand this is a business, and to be honest with you, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, right now, the only thing that I can control is, you know, continue to play, and continue, continue to do whatever it takes to put this team in position to me again, so, and see what happens after. But there's no other platform for a stage like New York for you, Jose, like, I can't see you doing this in New York. You know, I... You gotta be here in New York, bro. <laughs> I want to, man, you know, okay. I, I love it here, you know, the fun be great so far for me, mm -hmm. you know, like I I don't want to go nowhere, but like I said, at the same time, to be honest with you, I don't know what's going to happen. All right. Jose, I know you got a birthday coming up. You're a Gemini coming in. June right. 11th. June 11th. It's coming June. soon. Bro. So, Jose, have a great have Thank a you. great game, and bro, I hope to see you in Thank the black, blue, and orange. Right, Gemini Keys, Jose <laughs> Reyes. Well, you're no stranger to the Subway Series, man, so you know it must never get boring for you, man. The fact that you can't play right now means that we have it. How are you feeling? Face, you want to face your own team. I know you want to give them the business, but how are you feeling right now inside that you can't pitch? Maybe right this way. Well, yeah, I mean, I was, I was, I was so happy to sign here, first of all, uh -huh. and then I uh, just wait the worst series, like you said, and pitch against my old team. But now I can't I can do it. I just be praying to, to get off the injury and to be healthy uh, in July and, and pitch in the other worst series. Okay. The other team is always here. What do you, what do you think of your new teammates, man, coming from Queens to the Bronx? It's good. I mean, a lot of parents here and uh, a lot of good guys. I mean, they uh, they treat me good and and they know that they're hoping that for me to get get out the injury and pitch again and help the team. Well, I got one more last question for you because I know you got to get set. I know you know what this is, brother. Okay. How did you get to the game today? I drove. <laughs> okay. I drove, but I, I, I love the metro. I hear you, man. I love the metro, Mr. Feliciano, man. Thank you so much. Man. Welcome back to New York. All right. All right. Pedro Feliciano, Gemini Keys in the pen, and you're watching Latinosports.com. It's about us. We know it's about time. That's Yankees. I'm here with Who are you a fan of growing up? The Mets all the way. Not uh, not my family is the most fan of the Yankee tradition. So when you were on that mound yesterday, there was no Yankee that was going to touch you yesterday, right? No, no chance. No chance. <laughs> Mets Yankees, you're no stranger to it. Is it ever good? No, you know, I mean, for me, as a player, this series is great. There's more people here, there's more people writing about it, there's more people tuning in to TV, radio. It's a great atmosphere, it's a great situation for a player to play well. And we saw it the first night. You know, when the RA Kiki had his kind of struggle in this year, he had a great start against the Yankees. They did that to the season. I don't think it's a goal. That's what the series did. And Cody, I remember when you are in your playing days, you had this pitch called the Laredo. Okay? Now, R.A., and I know Mr. K likes to call him Rod Dickey, has this knuckle ball, and he had a lot of control over that pitch. Has. But as a pitcher, and I'm a, I'm a pitcher as well, that's not the pitch that you can control all the time. How does R.A. Dickey do that with that knuckle? Yeah, it, it's amazing the way he does it. I'm a big fan of him. He really has paid his dues. He has things that have not come easy for him. He throws it a little harder, obviously, than most knuckle ballers do traditionally. But it can, it can vary start to start, whether the wind can affect the weather, how your fingernails or your fingertips feel on it. A nice human day, right? human day can really affect his body. It's pretty amazing. You know, I think you would see more knuckle ball pitchers try that pitch and they can control it. It's, it's obvious that not too many of them have it. There's a few of them have it. Well, you know, the Yankees uh, obviously got, we have some miles going records coming up. Derek Jeter chasing 3,000 hits. It's going to be the first Yankee player ever, 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 ever to reach that milestone. So they, they've got some things, uh, some human interest stories going on. Uh, they're trying to get it together. They've got some, some good pitching going on this year. When they thought that would be the weak piece of the industry. The Mets are going to find out about the farm system. They're going to find out about the young guys and how, how good their, their depth is in the farm system. And that's a good thing as well. I'm here with infielder, second baseman, third baseman, 
rookie Justin Turner, who's been tearing up the league right now over the past two weeks. And I um, just wanted to take this opportunity to say how you doing, man. Welcome to New York, man. How you doing? Uh, really good. Glad to be here. Uh, pretty exciting atmosphere. I'm just trying to have one. Well, Justin, I, I know you're a Cal State Fullerton. You're a West Coast guy. What's it for you now, living on the East Coast, playing on the big, you know, on the big stage? New York, New York, versus New York. Yeah. That's right, man. It doesn't get any bigger than this. It's exciting. The atmosphere is unbelievable, uh, especially you know, last night. Uh, getting a 2 1 win, it was, it was pretty special. Uh, in the ninth inning with two outs, looking up and seeing all the Mets fans in the Yankee Stadium on their feet cheering for us. Well, let me ask you something, man. I know that you're from the West Coast, and you know, you do the, under, you do the underground subways. You know what they say right here? Yeah, I, I've used that a couple times. Okay, so is that how you got here today? <laughs> no, no, I took the team bus today, but I have used that one. What do you think about the, uh, the first part of the Mets game? Oh, it's been great. Yeah. We had a lot of intensity last night, although we came up short. You know, it's always good to play in a, a, a fun field uh, atmosphere. Uh, these fans are ready to go today, and we're ready to go. We're ready, we're ready to take this game through. Um, Scott, one more thing. I know they have said from San Diego. You, have, you know what this is right here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a train station. Okay. Right How did so you get to the game here, man? How did you get here today? Actually, I, 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 took, I took a bus. But, but I have, as a visitor coming to New York previously, I have taken a train. Okay. So I think you got to experience uh, the subway. I hear you, man. Definitely. Well, Scott, are you in the lineup too? I'm not, no. All right. Well, I'm going to get you. Yeah, you're ready. You definitely be right. ready. Gemini Keys in the pen with Scott Harrison, and you're watching LatinoSports.com. Mets Yankees coming up.